So he went on explaining. He says, now, necromancy is in reality a belief, a religious belief. People believe that the dead have entered into a higher state of existence than they had when they were alive. Also, that they are in a position and have the capacity to help the living here on earth. See? Then he said, it's... He says, this is where things get really interesting. He said, according to the great master, a person does not have to supposedly call upon the spirits of the dead to receive help, you see, to be involved in the necromancy. All he needs to do is to believe in life after death. Because he said, necromancy is the belief that man is a human, uh, as a human being, as an as immortal soul. So anybody that believes that man has an immortal soul, is involved in necromancy. And you take, for instance, like uh, Loretta Lynn, she owes, she says on national television, and uh, I have the data on it, that, that, that I heard it myself, she said that she was made successful in her singing career by a dear friend of hers that was the same age as she, and died when she was 18 years of age. And L uh, Loretta was trying to get into the the singing world, you know, but it, it, it would, she says, I had no success at all. Until one night I was sitting in bed reading a book, and she says, who walks right through the wall but my, my friend, the spirit of my friend? And she says, Loretta, I'm going to make you a very famous person in singing Western uh, country music, and I will be with you all the time. Trust me. She said, her voice went through me, the power. See. And you saw this in a television documentary? Yeah. Yeah. This was, I believe, 1976 it took place. Now, the priest explained that when people believe in uh, this business, they are actually opening themselves to be completely deceived by demon spirits because it gives the demon spirits an opportunity to impersonate the dead. So, who are they talking to? He says, the friendly demon spirits that have always found over the centuries great delight in impersonating in apparitions, departed loved ones, and persons of great renown.
And they always praise the, the great master, Satan, as a super intelligent being that he is. Beautiful to behold. And if he ever appears to you, you won't be able to look upon him because it'll be too bright. And the spirit appeared to him, and he said it was, the spirit, the angel was so bright that he could not look upon him.